Welcome to Central Valley Wedding and Special Events. I'm Shara Roderick, and I'm here with Amanda Ariola from the Visalia Convention Center. Thanks for joining me, Amanda. Thank you for having me. Great to have you here. So I hear the Visalia Convention Center is a great venue for weddings. Can you tell me a little bit about the setup you have there? Absolutely. So um, a lot of people don't really think of the Visalia Convention Center when they think of weddings. They think of conferences and meetings, but they don't really envision their wedding there. The thing is, is we are really a great venue because it is a blank canvas. So it's it's not your cookie cutter wedding. You're not going to go to a venue where you have, um, you know, the same thing that your best friend had last year. Uh, you can come in and really make it your own. And, you know, we have the benefit of having air conditioning and heating. <laughs> Which is always good in the Central Valley. <laughs> yes, yes. That is Unlike a huge other plus. places in the Central Valley, that is definitely a necessity. Um, but we can accommodate um, from the smallest wedding of 20 to 2,000. We really have um, enough different spaces in our building to accommodate anyone. Okay, so when someone is interested in possibly having their wedding there, are they mm -hmm. able to come on a tour of the convention Absolutely. center and get an idea of how they want their yes. setup? and I highly encourage them to. So anyone who's interested in a tour can just give me a call. Um, there's only one of me there, so call and ask for Amanda Ariola, and um, I'm happy to do that. Now, what type of services are offered through the Visalia Convention Center if you have your wedding there? Is it just the venue itself, or are there some things that can be rented? So the there are multiple options, but with the room rental, you do get your tables and your chairs, Very all of nice. your setup, and your cleanup. Which is a huge <laughs> expense that I think a lot of people don't think of, but the table expense yeah. really adds up. And the chair expense. Yes. I mean, you who would have thought chairs were so expensive? Right. <laughs> Especially when you're having a wedding upwards of 100 to 500. I yeah, mean, all of a sudden you're paying $700. For, for chairs. chairs and you're like that could go towards flowers exactly um, and all of the cleanup which is great you don't know how many Absolutely. weddings I've been to where I've had to help clean up afterwards so That's you don't have fun. to do that there no <laughs> Not at all. Um, so we have, you know, your standard items, but we also have, you know, a photo backdrop. I just added Very it. Very nice. Yes, I know. It's it's a really beautiful wooden one that we custom built. Wow. And um, I just, we just built a donut heart wall. Oh, how cute. Yeah. Is that the kind where you hang the donuts? Yes. Oh, very so nice. So it's, you know, a fun twist. And donuts are trending right now. They I'm noticing so that. They're so popular for weddings. They are. I mean, everyone loves cake, but who doesn't love a donut? Come right. On. You, you can't beat a late night donut. Right? It's just, it's so much fun and it's so cute and everyone loves it. So we do have, you know, different items you could rent, chandeliers. Wow. Um, so you floors. really get to pick and choose and customize your wedding. Yeah. And it's all in house. So you don't have to, you know, meet with different vendors for everything. I mean, a lot of it, you still will have to go get your caterer. Um, we have a list of wonderful certified caterers and, uh, but, you know, the up lighting and, um, a lot of the decor we, we can do in-house, which is great. It sounds pretty great. And yeah. there was something else you were telling me about that yeah. I am very excited about. I want to attend. Can you tell Please us about do. this? What is it, a wedding walk? Yes. So the idea came to me last year when uh, we were trying to figure out a way to showcase our space. So, you know, I see the venue every day. I can envision, and you know, we're in the industry. We can envision right. what it would look like. But for your standard person, they don't know what they're looking it at. It can be very overwhelming to figure out how to turn it into a special spot. Right. And you walk into a space and, you know, I can tell you this is where the chandelier would go and this mm -hmm. is where the dance floor would go. But unless you're used to seeing those things, it's hard to envision. So that's where the concept was born. We wanted to do an open house, but we didn't just want to do an open house. And then the more we thought about it, it started, you know, segueing into a bridal show. And we didn't really want to do a bridal show. There are so There's many so of many those. of them, yes. And you go, and they're great. They are really wonderful. But you feel like cattle, and it's, you know, we wanted to do something intimate. Um, so that is where the bridal walk was born. And it's a lot of fun. We did it on a Thursday night last year. This year will be on a Friday. Um, the brides come, and like any wonderful first-class trip, you get a complimentary glass of champagne. Very nice. You're given your passport, and you take the passport around to vendors, and they stamp it with an international stamp, which is really kind of cute. I like that. It, it That's was fun. a lot so you're of getting fun. to travel around. Travel around. And the great thing was is we incorporated downtown. So for anyone who's not familiar with the convention center, we are located in the heart of downtown, which okay. is another reason why we're such a wonderful venue. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So after your wedding, you know, everyone can go out downtown, and there's plenty of hotels. 
Um, so we, we incorporated about 20 vendors downtown. And so each vendor had a nice little setup in their shop with appetizers and drinks. And um, the brides were sent out on a mission to travel the world. And they came back to the convention center and uh, got to take a look at our ballrooms set up as if they were at a wedding, wow. which was really neat. And That's amazing. It was a lot of fun, and we're so excited uh, to have our second annual one this year, September 28th. So, um, yeah, if you're around, I would love for you to attend. Well, I would love to because I'm actually I'm getting married in October, so I'd be cutting it a little close at that point. Right. But, you know, I think there's always room for some inspiration to yes. get some ideas. And if nothing else, a really fun night out with your Absolutely. bridesmaids and friends. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, do right people out. buy tickets ahead of time for this? You can. You can buy them ahead of time or at the door, and okay. tickets are only $10. Okay, at same price ahead of time and at the door. Mm -hmm. Do you think you might sell out where people should buy ahead of time? We're hoping this year that we're going to sell Okay, out. so buy ahead Last of time. Last year, we had about 120 brides, which wow. is really intimate, but it was actually kind of big yeah. for um, being a first annual event. So yeah, absolutely. We're really hoping to have more this year and really excited about it. Are the tickets on sale on the Visalia Convention Center website? They'll be on visaliatix.com. Okay. But Wonderful. anyone can go to our Visalia Convention Center website and they can see actually all of the events we have. Um, we're going to be doing a Quinceanera Expo. It'll be our first one in oh, July. Wow. Okay. So that's going to be really exciting. So that's what I'm working on now. Well, it sounds like you have a pretty exciting job that you get to keep yes. coming up with these ideas and <laughs> right? seeing them develop. Exactly. That's amazing. Very lucky. <laughs> well, Amanda, thank you so much for taking the time to tell us about the Visalia Convention Center. It sounds very exciting. Thank it's you. Great it was to so have nice you. to meet you. you. Thank too. you for having me.